Hey everyone, Chris Fix here, ready to tackle another car problem with you. Today we're diving deep into the world of Mercedes-Benz and tackling the dreaded P2279 fault code. Don't worry, it sounds way scarier than it actually is. This code pops up when your Mercedes thinks there's a leak somewhere in the air intake system, basically the pathway that feeds air to your engine for combustion. It's like trying to drink a milkshake through a cracked straw, not as effective. Now you might be wondering why this matters. Well, your car's computer, also known as the ECU, relies on precise air and fuel mixtures for optimal performance. A leak throws this balance off, leading to a host of performance hiccups. But fear not, my friends. By the end of this guide, you'll be armed with the knowledge to diagnose and fix this problem like a seasoned mechanic. Let's get started. Before we grab our toolboxes, let's talk about how to recognize if your Mercedes is suffering from the P2279 Blues. Luckily, this fault code is pretty chatty and gives off some telltale signs that something's not quite right. One of the most obvious symptoms is the dreaded check engine light glaring at you from the dashboard. It's like your car's way of saying, hey, something's up, pay attention, but it doesn't stop there. You might also notice your engine idling rough like it's about to stall at a stoplight. Acceleration might feel sluggish, like your car is dragging its feet. In some cases, you might even hear a hissing sound coming from the engine bay, a surefire sign of an air leak. If you experience any of these symptoms, don't panic. Though it's time to put on our detective hats and figure out the root cause. Let's uncover the usual suspects behind that pesky P2279 code. Think of it like a game of Clue, but instead of Colonel Mustard, it's a cracked hose in the engine bay. One common culprit is a cracked or loose vacuum hose. These rubber hoses can dry out, crack or become disconnected. Another possibility is a faulty intake manifold gasket. This gasket seals the gap between the engine block and the intake manifold. Other troublemakers include a faulty mass airflow sensor, MAF, or even a loose gas cap. Proper diagnosis is crucial before jumping to conclusions. Section 4, putting on our detective hats, diagnosing P2279. All right, detective time. To pinpoint the exact cause of the P2279 code, we need to do a little investigation. First things first, let's start with a visual inspection. Pop open your Mercedes hood and take a good look around the engine bay. Pay close attention to all the vacuum hoses for any cracks or loose connections. If you spot a suspect, you might have found your culprit. Next, it's time to call in the big guns, an OBD2 scanner. This tool reads the fault code stored in the ECU. If the scanner doesn't reveal the culprit, perform a smoke test to pinpoint leaks. Section 5. Time to get our hands dirty, fixing P2279. Now that we've identified the root of the problem, it's time to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. The good news is that fixing the P2279 code is usually a straightforward process, even for beginner mechanics. If you discovered a cracked or loose vacuum hose during your inspection, replacing it is a simple fix. Just make sure you get the correct hose size and type for your Mercedes model. Reattaching a disconnected hose is even easier. Just make sure it snaps securely into place. A damaged intake manifold gasket requires a bit more work, but it's still manageable. You'll need to remove the intake manifold to access and replace the gasket. If the culprit is a faulty sensor, like the MAF or MAP sensor, Replacing it is usually a plug and play affair. Just disconnect the old sensor, connect the new one, and you're good to go. Section six, wrapping things up, conquering P2279 like a pro. Congratulations, my friend. You've successfully diagnosed and fixed the Mercedes-Benz P2279 fault code like a true automotive hero. You've learned what this code means how to spot its symptoms and how to track down the source of the problem. Not only that, but you've also mastered the art of fixing it, whether it's a simple hose replacement or a slightly more involved sensor swap. Remember, regular maintenance is key to preventing this and other car troubles. Keep an eye out for those pesky vacuum hoses and don't ignore your check engine light. And hey, if you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more car repair tips and tricks. Until next time, happy wrenching.